So let's try to dump and crack password hashes. We're going to use an old tool called pwdump. It's in version 7.1 at the moment. And then we'll use a rainbow table cracker called offcrack. So we're going to do this in Windows 8. If you try to do it in one of the other windows, it may fail on you. And that's because some security measures have been added and uh, to 2016 and Windows 10 and um, Server 2012 in our case is a domain controller, so it doesn't use local accounts. So we'll make sure we have Windows 8 started and you're logged in and make sure that you have copied pwdump7 and offcrack into uh, Windows 8. We don't actually need loft because we do that elsewhere. And um, the other thing you're going to want is also um, the rainbow table. And you'll need to go and get that. You're going to want to get the table vista free rainbow table from http colon slash slash offcrack, that's a zero, dot sourceforge.net slash tables dot php. Get the table vista free rainbow table. And just make sure that that is also copied to Windows 8. So what we're going to do is we're going to run a WMIC, that's Windows Management Instrumentation Client Command. Uh, WMI is an interface, um, an API, or whatever. Uh, it's, a, it's a set of functionality that Microsoft created that allows you to query hardware and software. And we're going to use it to query for account names, and we're particularly interested in the names and the SIDs and we'll use it just to kind of check. We also want to make sure we have pwdump7 onto the C drive, that whole folder, just to make typing easier. And we're going to open a command prompt and we're going to dump the hashes to something called hashes.txt. Then we're going to launch offcrack and use vista free as the dictionary and load this thing. Now, in order to do this though, we need to create some users so we can have a little bit of fun. So here I am in Windows 8 and I'm going to open a command prompt in administrator privilege. So I'm coming over here, I'm clicking the start menu and I am typing, well, let me make sure I'm in Windows 8, not in my, I was clicking for my host. I'm going to come into the lower left corner and click the start page and type command. I see the command prompt. Right click and run as administrator. We want that. Say yes. Okay, so now let me just um, make this a little bit bigger so that uh, it's, well, I guess this one doesn't go any bigger. All right, so what we're going to do is we're just going to create some users with varying degrees of password strength. So you follow along, you make up anything you like. I'm going to say net user Manny. Net user Manny, and his password is let me in then slash add. So we create a local user called Manny with a password of let me in. Press enter. Net user Sally, um, capital P at SSW0RD slash add. Okay, we've got Sally. Net, net user Karen, carrot, add. Net user um, Kit, um, capital P A S S W O R D bang slash add. You can just create a bunch of people. Net user moo, um, let's make his a little more complex. Bang P A S S 1, 2, 3, 4. I don't know if that's considerably more complex or not. Add. And um, I don't know, let's create one more. Net user Sam, and let's make Sam's a little bit more difficult. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Q W E R T. Enter. Whoops, sorry. Slash add. Enter. Okay, and when I type net user and press enter, I see all these users. All right, great. So now um, what we want to do is we want to run pwdump. Now I have copied it over. Here's pwdump7. I've copied it over and I've copied off crack. We need to make sure this, just so that the typing in the path is shorter, this is in the C drive. So I come over here and I come to files and I go to my computer and the C drive. I've got it copied already. When you open it up, you see that there's just pwdump and a DL, DLL. I've got an artifact in there I'm going to get rid of. Okay, so let's go back to our command prompt. And you need to run this administrator privilege. If you don't do this in, in administrator privilege, it'll blow up on you. 
So we already created a command prompt in administrator privilege. We know we're in admin privilege because it says Windows System 32. Let's now cd c colon backslash pwdump7, enter. When I type dir, there's pwdump7 right there. Okay, so I'm just going to pwdump7, enter. And it shows, it dumps all those people I created, including NTLM hashes. There don't appear to be any LM hashes, which are the simpler ones, but we've got the NTLM hashes. Okay, great. Let's save this to a text file. pwdump7 space greater than space hashes.txt, enter. And when I go out there, I go into this folder, I see hashes and I open it up and I can see there are the various user accounts and the various hashes. All right, great. We're going to use that now in off crack. So with that in mind, let me close these things or I can minimize this. Let me open up off crack, open this up and open up X64 because this happens to be the 64 bit version of uh, Windows 8 and open up off crack. And now I need to load the hash file and a dictionary because off crack is a rainbow table cracker and it needs rainbow tables. And rainbow tables are simply dictionaries of pre-computed hashes that are stored a special way. It makes them really, really fast and they save a whole lot of space compared to a conventional dictionary. So let me click load, load the pwdump file. And I uh, actually want to back up just a little bit here. I just want to select tables underscore vista underscore free. Don't go in there, just select it, click open. Oops, let's try that again. <laughs> load. <laughs> I picked the wrong thing. Sorry, folks. Load PW dump file. I don't want off crack anything. I just, my brain went somewhere. Go to the C drive, go to PW dump seven, pick the hashes. That's what we want. Click open. Now let's load the uh, rainbow table. Tables. And you want to make sure that you select Vista Free. If you don't have it loaded already, select Vista Free and click Install. And you can browse to it. So browse to wherever you save Tables Vista Free. Select that thing, select folder, and click OK. And it'll load it up. Now you're ready to crack. And it notices immediately that the original administrator and guest have no password. And um, I believe the original administrator is also disabled. So anyway, click crack and let it rip. It's going to load some stuff up and it blew up. OK, it's all right. Let's run it again. Let's load the PW dump file. Go out to the C drive. PW dump hashes open. Let's make sure that the tables that Vista is in there. OK, crack. And now it's starting to load into RAM. It'll do some preloading in here and then it'll start cracking. So we can see that it's going through a process now and it is counting elapsed time and passwords found, found immediately two empty ones. We'll have to come back in a few minutes and see what it finds and what it doesn't find. And remember, a rainbow table is just a dictionary. Okay, we found Karen Carrot right away. Uh, so if it's not in the dictionary, it's not going to find it. And we'll have to either get a bigger dictionary or we'll have to use a tool that can do a brute force. So we'll come back in just a minute after we've let it run for a little while. All right, off crack is finished and it found some of the passwords. Some of them were not in the rainbow table, which means we need to go out and get a bigger table. But that's okay, because you can do that. You can search for off-crack rainbow tables out on the internet, uh, and you can get bigger ones, and you can try um, heftier dictionaries. So that is how we use pwdump to grab password hashes, and then we send them to a cracker, such as off-crack.